have your phone number and you leave, you're unofficial. Okay, what oh, is this one for the now? But yeah, they are stuck by the earth with the air. Yeah. We're from Helpmakar College in uh, Joburg. Um, yeah, we, this is, we love our adventure racing. We're passionate about it. We um, train hard and uh, we, es we expect a really hot day out there today. So, um, got enough water, get the liquids going and uh, yeah, just hope for the best and not make any big problems for ourselves. We've been training every Saturday <laughs> since the beginning of the year. So I think we're fit enough for today. Uh, we've been working for the last three months for this race. Been training every day, mountain biking, uh, running, uh, paddling, everything that we could get in. And uh, we're hoping for a top three a finish today, podium finish. So yeah. Guys, remember, stay within 50 meters of each other. We were running down and I slipped over a rock or something and I fell hard. <laughs>
Uh, we're running in cleats because our running shoes never got to transition. So very sore. Schools adventure racing is, uh, is a growing sport. Um, there's a committee uh, that, um, that sit every year and we choose a venue and an organiser. We were fortunate this year that Gauteng uh, were chosen to, uh, to present the event uh, and Altmakar College uh, from Johannesburg uh, was chosen to be the event organisers and they asked me to assist them in setting up the event. This area is uh, a gem in the, in the Gauteng Northwest uh, province. It's actually uh, half the venue is in Gauteng and half is in the Northwest. Uh, it's an awesome venue. Uh, people don't know what is on the doorstep of Johannesburg, Pretoria. It's basically between uh, those two cities and, and Rustenburg on the northern slopes of the uh, the Machalisberg, uh, spectacular kloofs, um, the, the, the area, the people in this area just opened their arms to us, um, they allowed us to traverse their, their properties, um, the, if, every farmer in the area just opened their, their, their properties for the kids um, and we, we were very blessed uh, that none of the, the people in the area were against this event. Um, yeah, we, we, we're very blessed with a lovely area. Uh, but hot uh, at the moment. Uh, we we all, uh, you know, doing some rain dances. Okay, now we're going to be 14, 15 and then we're going to go straight. So a kilo and a kilo. And this is a kilo and a kilo. The advantages our kids get out of this is just immense. I mean, they're out in nature, they ride horses, they do archery, they do uh, catty shooting, um, they build rafts, they canoe, they jump into water, um, they do mountain climbing, they do rock climbing, uh, anything funny. I mean, even in this race we had some horse, uh, horse riding. 
which uh, the kids, you know, normally would not get exposed to it in a, in a big city. Um, so really, um, schools adventure racing is growing. Uh, it's, it's getting more popular every year, but we need uh, parents and teachers to get involved to, uh, to grow the sport, to make it uh, really worthwhile. This one here is your safety line. Are you left handed or right handed? Right handed. You want to stop, pull it down.